difference between RHEL 6 and RHEL 7. There has been a prominent difference in the versions of Red Hat Linux since RHEL 6. RHEL 7 is too different in most of the major commands. The first and the foremost difference being in the file system type. We know file system is to keep track of the numerous files and directories that come over to the system. For RHEL 6, the default file system was ext4, whereas in RHEL 7, it was XFS. XFS being the journaling file system, provides more journaling of the system. The next difference is in the kernel version and the kernel code name that is being used. RHEL 6 had a kernel mm, code name of Santiago, which was released in November 9th, 2010. And the version was 2.6x underscore x. For RHEL 7, the name was Maipo, which was released on June 9th, 2014. Uname minus R can be used to view the kernel version. The first process that begins is system D, which has a process ID 1, and in it for RHEL 6, which has a process ID uh, same as that of uh, system D uh, in RHEL 7. The first process which takes care of all the services that uh, is to yet to happen in the system. Next one being the run level. Default run level was in slash etc slash init tab for rel6 whereas in rel7 it was a pointer to slash etc system d system slash default dot target. Then comes the host names. In rel6 host names were stored in slash etc slash sysconfig slash network hyphen scripts configuration file. For rel7 the default host name is defined in slash etc slash host name. The next one being the file system check. RHEL 6 used XFS underscore repair for file system check, whereas in RHEL 7 it uses E2FSCK. However, E2FSCK was compatible with RHEL 6 also. Bootloader. The bootloader which was used is GRUB2 in RHEL 7 and in RHEL 6 it is GRUB.97. Additional firmware types including BIOS and the ability to boot on various file systems were available with GRUB2. The next one being the KDUMP, where RHEL 7 supports KDUMP on large memory based systems up to 3 TB. KDUMP doesn't work properly with large RAM based systems as in RHEL 6. System D is the system and service manager for RHEL 7, whereas for RHEL 6 it is upstart. Service start commands. Starting a service is uh, one of the most prior event that takes place in a RHEL operating system. In RHEL 6, the command used was service start nfs or slash etc slash init.d slash nfs space start. Whereas in RHEL 7, it is systemctl start nfs hyphen service. Then comes the important one that is a facility to communicate with net filter, which was used in RHEL 6 is of IP tables and in RHEL 7, which was firewall D. Network bonding. Network bonding is a team driver, as in team D, stored in slash etc, slash sysconfig, network hyphen scripts, IFC, FG, hyphen team 0 for rel 7, and in rel 6 it was called bonding, stored in etc, sysconfig, network hyphen scripts, IFC, FG, bond to 0. Then comes the resource cluster manager. In rel 6 it was the RG manager, in rel 7 it is a pacemaker. Thank you.